Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here. Take two. Hey everybody, Johnny Be Good here, located still at uh, Minuteman. Unfortunately, it took them. It took them about four hours to get us unloaded. And uh, the local time here it is. What is it? Four o'clock. So that means Winsoon is now closed. It's just the way trucking goes, you know? You come here, you come here late, and uh, well, they get you loaded when they get loaded. You come here early, it's sometimes the same result. But overall, it is what it is, and you know, I would have preferred to get empty real quick an hour after I got here, run to Winsoon South Gate, reload it, get out of California. I was even thinking of, at the worst case scenario, get reloaded do a 10 hour break right there by the shipper wake up about 2 or 3 o'clock California time and get out of California at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning that way there will be no traffic jam but none of that all worked out <laughs> so now my goal is to get to win soon and uh, hopefully there'll be nobody at the dock that way I could be the fir first one to get loaded tomorrow morning then still you still face the same amount of dilemma of rush hour traffic but you know it's just well certain things are beyond our control so it is what it is All right, the local time is, uh, as I said, about 4.04. .04. Today, once again, it is 7.23. No, it's July 23, 23rd, 2015. Today is Thursday. I am on my way to Winsoon that is located in Southgate, California. The good news is, who knows? Maybe Jose would drop by today and say hello. Oh dear, we could have another cookout, Jose. We could do another bratwurst cookout and this time we're gonna we're gonna videotape it this time looking forward to seeing your sister and her dogs and uh, I think I owe your brother-in-law some maybe a dollar or something to give us but that doesn't really count because he just ate when I gave him when we had that uh, Browers. Also, Jeff Mazza and Ivan, after you guys left, the manager of Minute Man came up to me and 
asked me with a stern request and warning they don't want anybody visiting they don't want any outsiders out in their facility so yeah I, I was pretty shocked myself they were pretty nice about it but still you know yeah, see here we are four o'clock in the afternoon big old traffic jam right here this is what I was trying to avoid one of the scenario was I could have stayed back there in uh, at the receiver there back there in Minuteman park somewhere and just wait till morning to go to South Gate which now I kind of regret not doing Let's see, we left at 4 o'clock, so I'm kind of curious to how long this is going to take us to get to Southgate. I would imagine about an hour. I guess uh, he just forgot his turn signal on. And they don't want to give up their lanes. I'm always amazed that the four wheelers are the one would rather let you over than the truck drivers do. Again, it is what it is, right? Well, what do you know? A truck driver let me over. Supposedly there are 33 cities in the United States now that ban sharing food to the homeless. May I have your opinion on that? What would be the pros and cons of that law? Oh, 
Well, if you were to keep practicing that, certainly it would promote and prolong homelessness, right? I mean, who wants to live in a city full of beggars from a business point of view? And then on the other side is, well, how can you let people go hungry? To me, it seems like they're doing it all wrong. They should, they should do something to get rid of homelessness. Better jobs, better homes, fix the problem, not just band-aid the problem, I think. Just like my take on the, uh, you know, letting the military arm themselves in recruitment centers in light of all those, uh, what is it, four or five uh, military personnel that got shot up in Chattanooga. I'd say, again, arming them is not the problem or not the solution. I mean, having citizens or retired uh, veterans protect them. I mean, that's even worse. Why not fix the problem in the first place? Close the border, weed out all those bad apples, and start letting people in the country legally. I mean, look, you can't you can't let a country you can't run a country and have the borders open. You just can't. Now I know many of you out there are sympathetic to the illegal aliens, and I am too. I, I've got a lot of friends and a lot of associates that are illegal aliens. But I also, I also got to believe that anytime we start abandoning uh, the the laws, then we're a you know we're a doomed nation. I'm not, I'm not advocating that we should close the border and no, don't let any, any, anybody in. I'm just saying close the border, uh, border and let's start processing people in. That way we can, we can follow the law and everybody gets to be, you know, weed out and from the good ones to the bad ones. And I, I don't think anybody can complain with that. Anytime, anytime that the government ignores the law that it's supposed to enforce and go after ordinary citizens for breaking the law, what is that? How in the world do you expect a citizen to respect the government the same government that do not even honor its own laws. But 
as I said all the long, all the while, and I'm pretty guilty at this myself. Every government that there ever was, ever is, ever will, is an institution of God. It's here's something that many people find it hard to believe. Okay, Satan is God's devil. That that's to some or that's a mind boggling thought that God can have a devil. Well God created all things in this world, including Satan. And at the best day that Satan can do is follow God's will follow God's uh, accomplishes God's purposes I know it's it's mind-boggling it's almost it's almost unconceivable but remember God is a sovereign God 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 is the king of all kings he can do whatever he wants and God has an infinite mind which none of us can comprehend. His ways are above our ways. His ways are not our ways. Our ways is not His ways. So back to the topic is, again, even the, the worst of the worst government or politicians out there they are there they've been there not by accident here's another example okay who crucified Jesus Christ why was Jesus Christ crucified and who ordered the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was it the Romans was it the religious Jews? No. It was God the Father himself that ordained and planned out the crucifixion of, uh, of Christ. It even says so in the Bible. It says God the Father was pleased to bruise him. soldiers the Romans the Jews sure they were just they were instrumental and they were tools to accomplish accomplish God's purpose but nevertheless they were they were as guilty as they were of that act just because God or God ordained it that doesn't mean they were not guilty of it So for those of you who are my young, my my brothers in Christ, I know who you are. Uh, you know who you are. Don't be so critical about the government. And then that that also is a reminder of myself because, yeah, I I find myself a little bit sometimes involved in well a lot guilty in that. Recently, a friend of mine has pointed out the errors of my ways. You know, instead of me criticizing the officials of our government, the Bible says that we are to pray for them. time we were just as guilty as they were 
and for us for us to forget that fact is kind of kind of like well God forgave you and you don't forgive others uh, that that ain't gonna work So let's pray for our government leaders. Quite honestly, sometimes I think the reason why I criticize our government or certain politicians is well it feels good to criticize someone it uh, we let our emotions run amok and what would be the right word it somehow somehow we gotta get out of this lane oh man Maybe this Bob Dale over here will let us get over again. Now I feel like a horse's patoot. Um, we'll cut this video here it's 24 minutes long holy smokies we'll catch you guys later thanks for watching and uh, yeah forgive me for being so <laughs> yeah acting like an idiot peace